Today, in this video, we are going to study about the quark combination of different particles. We will learn how protons are formed by different combination of quarks. Similarly, we will also study how neutrons, how omega and other elementary particles are formed due to the different combination of quarks. So we have a question over here, what particles is UUD combination produce? Here UUD represents up quark, up quark and down quark. So to find the particles which formed due to this combination, we have to know three things. They are total charge. baryonic number and strangeness we may also discuss about other different properties that we have studied earlier in our previous video which link you can get in a description box we have discussed about quantumness, topness and other different properties so basically all these three properties are needed over here so we will try to calculate charge baryonic number and strength of UUD combination for UUD total charge equals to so I have already discussed that the charge for U, U and D will be so we have already discussed in our previous video about the charge of different quarks up down strange charm top and bottom we can classify these quarks into two formats up charm and top they gives us positive vibes and down strange and power bottom which gives us negative vibe they do possess the value plus 2e by 3 and they do possess the value minus e by 3 and their antiparticles possess the value opposite to them minus 2e by 3 and plus e by 3 so using this format we will try to calculate the total charge of UUD combination so for U combination it is plus 2e by 3 plus again for U combination it's plus 2e by 3 and for D combination and for D its value is minus e by 3 so we will get the value plus 2e by 3 2e by 3 minus e by 3 that comes out to be 1 so the total charge it contains is 1 e now let's talk about baryonic number baryonic number of all the quarks is 1 by 3 so we will add 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 and this will give us value 1 and strangeness So, the UUD combination do not have any strength properties. So, 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals to 0. Now, the particle which do have total charge 1e, baryonic number 1, strangeness 0. The particle is called proton. Yes, the particle is proton. Ruko jara, sabar guru. Plus But for those students who don't know that the particle which has total charge 1, baryonic number 1 in strangeness 0 is proton, I have prepared a simple trick, a simple formula to remember all the elementary particles. I mean to say all the necessary and important elementary particles. So I will be discussing about that in the next topic. 
So let us understand the simple trick to remember the quark combination for baryons. We have already studied that the baryons means nucleons and hyperons. And nucleons contains proton and neutron. Whereas hyperons contains sigma, xi, delta, lambda, omega, and many others. For proton and neutron, for proton and neutron, the quark combination is U U D and U D T. This is most vital to understand, most important to understand that proton do have quarks U U and D, two up quark and one down quark, and the neutron has one up quark and two down quark, just opposite or reciprocal to each other. Now let's study the quark combination of xi, sigma and delta. The symbol for xi is this, sigma for this and delta for this. Now in order to remember the quark combination, we have to remember some specific pattern that the value here goes u s s d s s and u u s. So we need to remember these three things that is most primary for completing this table. Now the only rule is that we have to change this S into D. But we can only change one S at a time. We have the value over here, xi0 is the quark combination USS. Now the quark combination of sigma0. Using my trick, you can write as a U, D, S because we can change S into D but only one S at a time. The delta 0 has the quark combination of U, D, D because you can change another S into D second time. So this is the way of writing. Similarly, we will finish the second table. The quark combination for sigma minus will be D, d s and delta minus will be d d d because we can change only one s at a time so we have changed one s at a time so you can complete this table like this and similarly for the delta plus you can go as a u u d because there is only one s and if we change this s this will form D. And we don't have any value, any quark combination for xi plus. So this is the simple trick for baryons to remember the quark combination. Now for extra two particles like lambda, some write lambda as this and some people like write lambda as this and omega the quark combination for these two particles are for lambda there are three quarks and all of them are different from each other u d s u d s do you see any other particles which has the similar combination wait a minute do you see my friend Isa? Yes, the sigma zero has the similar combination as lambda particle. And for omega, that also contains three particles and all of these three particles are similar. They all are strange quarks. So this is little easy to remember and this is the way that we can 
complete our table we can write any quark combinations we can write any particles quark combination through this table you can remember this for your examination as well now we will learn another simple trick to remember quark combination for mesons now for the quark combination of mesons pi mesons and kaons we will write would would so this is the way of writing to complete this table ud ud us us so give antiparticle over here a small bath and antiparticle at the last of this things so this is the anti quark combination for pi minus and this is for pi plus this for k minus and this for k plus it is to be remember that mesons contains only two quarks one quark and and another anti quark and for baryons which are studied earlier they contains three quarks uh, with the combination of quark and anti quark so now to fill up these two tables now to fill up these two tables we have a simple trick over here we will take the first value and first value of this term and write over here that comes out to be u u dash and for writing the value over here we will take small d to s bar and write over here d s plus so this is the way we can complete the part combinations that was for today. If you like my video, don't forget to share among your friends and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you will never miss my video ever again.